you're probably wondering if this is Aruba or paradise. And the answer is both. Aruba is definitely heaven on earth. So if showering with flamingos is on your bucket list, just keep watching. Okay, so let's start from the beginning. Aruba is definitely known for its famous flamingo beach where you can interact with gorgeous pink flamingos, feed them, take photos with them, and many more. This white sand beach, surrounded by palm trees, is on a private island that is actually part of the Renaissance Resort. Because it's one of the most desirable places in Aruba, you'll need to know how to get there. It can get a little tricky, but don't worry, keep watching and you'll have all the information you need to know. If you're not staying in the Renaissance Hotel, you'll have to get a day pass to visit the Flamingo Beach. That will cost you $125 per person. As Flamingo Beach is located on the private island, the only way to get there is to take the Renaissance water taxi. The cost of the water taxi is included in your ticket. Boats run from 7 a.m. to 6.45 p.m. every day and every 15 minutes. Did I already say this is a magical place and it definitely should be on your bucket list when visiting Aruba? The flamingos are really friendly and fitting them is a unique experience. On the beach there are vending machines that sell flamingo food. It costs only 50 cents, so make sure you bring some quarters with you. You can get so close up and personal with the flamingos, but make sure you're also gentle. I really recommend to come as early as possible because later when it gets crowded the flamingo get pretty full and they will probably ignore you. Make sure you give them space. Did you know this is not just the flamingo beach? This is also the iguana beach. The iguanas are such a unique and interesting animal to observe. I know they look scary but they're actually really sweet, so please don't hurt them. It's, it's fucking sun, here. It is, they're coming for the puppy. Seriously, they, 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 if they bite you, it just doesn't hurt. I'm calling them all, seriously. And don't worry, if a full day at Flamingo Beach is not luxury enough, you can take it up a notch and rent one of their private oceanfront cabanas for the entire day. It will cost between $425 to $500 a day, and it comes with two bottles of still water, two bottles of sparkling water, bottle of sparkling wine, refreshing food, personalized cabana butler service, towels, two water floats, and two full face snorkeling masks. Honestly, it's so worth it. Okay, it's time to sit back and relax while ordering fancy drinks right to my beach chair. You can also get served food or grab a bite at one of the two bars on the island. Another exciting thing is that the airport runway is near the island, so from time to time a plane will fly by. And being so close to the landing is an insanely cool experience. I had so much fun on the island that I stayed and took the last boat of 645. And I definitely recommend to do the same because oh my god, look at the sunset! And wait until you see it in real life. Good morning beautiful people! It's another beautiful day in beautiful Aruba Island and I'm so excited to explore. The first stop is gonna be in the Rashi Beach. It's actually not too far, it's only seven minutes away from where I'm staying. So let's get into it. Arashi Beach is the last stretch of beach on the northwestern side of Aruba and is located past Boca Catalina, just before the California Lighthouse. It is a gorgeous beach with so many shades of blue as you look out on the water. And a lot of birds can be seen flying and nesting close to the beach.
It is known not only for amazing snorkeling experience, but there is a variety of water activities, including windsurfing, scuba diving, deep sea fishing, swimming, and sailing. I forgot my snorkeling gear. Bravo's Pier. <laughs> With Milan, it would never have happened. We are going now to a scenic spot, Tres Trappi, Tres Trappi, something like that, Tres Trappi. Okay, I think I got it right on the third time and it's actually really funny because Tres Trappi means three steps in Papimiento, which is the most spoken language in Aruba. But in English, it means one of the most stunning places I've ever been. Really, I'm not kidding. And I can't believe I found it because it's one of the locals best kept secrets for snorkeling. It's a small cove located on the northwestern shore of Aruba, just four minutes away from Morashi Beach. You can watch beautiful birds flying around or just resting on the cove. I even found some crabs walking around. And if you will get lucky, you'll get the opportunity to see sea turtle. I literally want to come here and meditate every morning. Because, wow. The rock here, the lava rock, is so cool. I'm getting hungry. And I found this really cool spot. It's called Eduardo's Beach Shack. I saw they have different locations here on the island. So let's check it out. This place has avocado toast, tofu scrambles, waffles, pancakes, and many more. I ordered a high tuna poke bowl, and it comes with tuna, salad, coconut rice, pineapple, mango, pickled ginger, seaweed, avocado, and crispy onion. It was delicious. And I couldn't choose a better view to eat my lunch. just arrived to one of the most beautiful beaches in the world for 2023. I have high expectations guys, so let's check it out. I hope I won't get disappointed. Eagle Beach has been rated as one of the best beaches in the world. It is the widest beach of Aruba and has soft white sand and clear aqua water. It is amazing for swimming and water activities because the water on Eagle Beach is calm with no seaweed or rocks. Set relax, grab a book, and listen to the birds singing. I'm just gonna sit here and wait for sunset. Or maybe not, because apparently I'm on this cool party on a pirate boat with fun music, drinks, ocean breeze, and of course, an incredible sunset. That's the best thing in life. You never know what's gonna happen next. So just enjoy the present moment and be spontaneous. Then turn left. Did you know that Aruba has two mountains? They called Hoiborg and Jamanura. Hoiborg is a volcanic formation and is located at the approximate center of the island. Although Hoiborg seems like the highest point of the island, it is in fact the second highest. If you feel like doing some exercise or you're looking for a nice place for some uphill jogging, Huiburg is a great opportunity to get a little active and it's a great spot for an early morning cardio workout. Come on, burn some calories. After all, it's also one of those things to do in Aruba that is absolutely free. Halfway there, you guys. The view is already stunning, but I cannot wait to see from the top. I made it to the top. It's hot. But wow, look at this view. My second stop for today is at Kasibari Rock Formation. These natural rock formations are in the middle of the island, only 5 minutes away from Hoiberg. And the entry is free! This is an ancient site with huge monolithic boulders. You can access the top climbing over the rocks or view a stairway.
This place was magical. There are many paths through the formations and the view at the top is amazing. You can even see Hoiberg from here. Take time to walk around, take pictures and explore. After walking around the Casibaru rocks, I stopped over at the cafe for a drink. This place is so cool with great food, great drinks and amazing service. They made me try the pasticci that is a traditional Arubian breakfast and I'm so glad they did because it was delicious. So good. So today I'm going to explore the other side of the island from where I'm staying with the palm tour all the way to Baby Beach. I'm waiting right now for the jeep to come pick me up. Although Aruba is a small island, but some roads are difficult to get to and required an off-road car. Besides, there is no better way than having a local showing you around. So this is Mac, and he is an amazing tour guide with lots of knowledge about the island. And he made my tour so fun and memorable. There are many ways to explore the island, but after a research, I found the best way for me would be with the Palm Tours Off-Road Safari. This is a seven hour tour that covers most of the island and stops in Aruba's most famous landmarks. We started at the California Lighthouse, which is known for its spectacular views of the island. We just arrived to the lighthouse and we want to see the view from the top. So exciting! Climb all the way up to the lookout point and enjoy panoramic 360 views of Aruba's north end of the island. Wow, just look at this view. I can't wait for you to see it in person. By the way, you can even book a private dining experience at the top of the California Lighthouse. This is the perfect date night and so romantic. Next, we visited the Alto Vista Chapel. This tiny Catholic chapel overlooking the sea is considered the island's oldest church and it is located on the exact site at the original chapel built in 1750. On our way to Baby Natural Bridge, we passed through the gold mill ruins. It used to be a gold mill in the 19th century, a major economy on the island along with aloe production. Although not much left, but you can still see how the structure looked. We've arrived to Baby Natural Bridge. The natural bridge measured 25 feet high and 100 feet long. On September 2, 2005, the bridge collapsed due to Hurricane Katrina. The remains of the bridge are still a tourist attraction today. The Natural Baby Bridge is a smaller with a span of 25 feet and only 3 feet above sea level. Both bridges formed by coral limestone, curved out naturally through years of pounding surf. Bon Bini means welcome in Papimento. So I'm going to take the invitation and see what's inside. Beside a little gift shop, they're also making a stroopwafel, delicious Dutch cookie that looks like a small waffle. Each is filled with a spiced buttery caramel syrup. The best way to eat the stroopwafel is with coffee. Place your stroopwafel over the top of your mug and leave it for a few minutes until it's soft enough. Magical combination. I noticed they're also selling local beer, so I decided that today I'm gonna try all the local beers of Aruba. Magic Mango. We stopped at Studio Morano Art, a company that produces and sells glass artwork crafted using the traditional and ancient techniques from Murano Island located in the northeast Italy. 
the artist at the studio gives us a very interesting demonstration on a glass blowing. It was very interesting. They also have a shop with beautiful glass pieces at a variety of prices. Finally, time to eat. Did I mention that the lunch is included in the tour? And the food was amazing. We're going to try another one over here. Chill. Cheers. Mm, wow. We visited the Donkey Sanctuary. This is a great experience for animal lovers because you can feed and pet the donkeys. Hello, my new friend. Food. We got a small bowl for one dollar, or you can get a big bowl for three dollars. And it looks like they're very hungry. Let's give them some fun. Donkeys are adorable and just made me smile. You can either buy food or bring your own. I heard they love apples and carrots. We are back to beach. It's a little bit rainy. We got some snorkeling, We're going to see some beautiful fish, but first we gotta get a drink. Yes, I still need to try the Balashi beer. So while we were waiting for the rain to pass, we visited Big Mama Grill. Our third local beer, Balashi. This is the moment I realized I play this game alone. And my friend ditched me for Aruba Ribi. Let's try it out. Here. It's sunny again! The sun came out! We had a drink and decided, decided to come and show her face. And now it's time to go snorkeling! As we arrived to Baby Beach, we got our snorkeling gear from our tour guide, Matt. Snorkeling was amazing. I saw all kinds of fish, different shapes, different colors. I even saw a transparent fish. And I saw a turtle. Just kidding. The tour is over and it's time to head back to the hotel. But don't worry, you can still enjoy all the colorful Arabian structure on the ride back. Unfortunately, it is time to leave the island, but I hope you're going to enjoy the island as much as I did, and even more. There are so many reasons to visit Aruba. Besides all the things you've seen in the video, it is also safe, relaxing, and people are super friendly. So if you got all the information you need to know about visiting Aruba, I really appreciate it if you like and subscribe to my channel. It really helps to create more content for you. You can also comment and let me know if there is anything else that I can help you with. Thank you for watching. We'll see you on the next adventure.